Hello friends, Litronix here and today we're gonna be playing Vala at the Sky Temple. So let's have a quick look at our team compositions. It's gonna be Vala, Jaina, Rhaegar, Kerrigan and Haka versus Joanna, Illidan, Kerizim, Tychus and Oriel. So the enemy team has blinds and evasion, that's not really great for Vala. Okay, so I... Avala actually got a rework, right, uh, if you didn't know for some reason. Uh, her abilities were mostly changed, her talents were mostly changed. Like, they have the same functionality, like, you still shoot the Hunger and Carol, you still have your multi-shot, Vault, but some of their aspects have been slightly changed. And I've been really trying, like, trying really hard to make her auto-attack build work. And it just doesn't. Like, you, it's just so underwhelming, you never feel like you are contributing. In fact, most of the games you lose pre-level 20, so you can't even make usage of Rancor to, like, actually, like, the, the, uh, the trait, the talent that actually makes your build work, right? Uh, so it's been quite an awful time, and then I, then I tried a little bit different approach. I actually liked multi-shot build quite a bit previously on Vala, because it kind of compensated for the fact that she is an auto attacks um, based damage dealer, right? So she doesn't really have burst. Uh, but with the multi-shot build, with the arsenal and things like that, you were able to do more or less significant AoE burst damage, right? And uh, I tried it now and it, it's been a really, really great time. Uh, so let's go ahead and start uh, up uh, with our uh, hot pursuit there. Oh, that was actually awful. Right, they have Illidan. Well, we are dead. Um, wow, that's a good start. We shouldn't have fought that. First of all, we were 4 versus 5. And then I kind of committed to it. And I shouldn't have. I should, should have just disengaged that. Um, because they have Illidan, they have um, a Joanna. So as I said before, blinds really screwed us over. We missed all of our attacks in that fight. So that was awful. But yeah, so let's go ahead and start with Hot Pursuit. So at 10 stacks of Hatred, uh, you will get 20% movement speed. And that's actually a lot. Like, that's a lot of movement speed. And it, uh, oh my god, it shows. It actually, it, it does show. Uh, so the, what, what changed about Vala is uh, that, uh, first of all, uh, her trait. Uh, now instead of uh, losing your... Uh, stacks of hatred gradually, they will just be lost at once, like uh, every six seconds uh, the hatred stacks reset to zero, rather than slowly moving down and uh, deteriorating. So that's definitely kind of a big change. Uh, then with your vault you actually have um, some sort of a finishing move mechanic, right? The more hatred you have, the more damage your auto attack follow up after you use vault will do. And it can, it can have some... Wait, didn't she just use it on um, the Haka there? I really thought that that's something that, ha that happened there. Man, that grenade actually... Oh no! Rhaegar! I thought that he had some healing for me. Oh, I shouldn't have engaged that. Man, I'm playing awfully right now. Uh, I should just stay a little bit more passive maybe. I don't know what Kerrigan also was doing there. She should have used her combo right away. Um, yeah, but it seems like we are just getting completely destroyed here. I don't think that we can carry this over. Uh, so now at level 4 we're gonna go for punishment because what this does is when we are at 10 stacks of hatred our multi-shot will do 50% more damage and mind you this it does quite a bit like it, right now it does 200 damage. Uh, so amplifying it by 50% and doing the damage to the whole enemy team uh, rather than just uh, one of their members is quite a lot. And that's kind of where the auto attack build kind of falls off because you aren't really able to be as effective as you can be. Uh, but with this build you can just slowly whittle down the enemy team. Well, not, maybe not slowly, but uh, it has 12 second cooldown, like right? Multi-shot has 12 second cooldown, so you can't really do it slowly, right? It's more as a, as a thing of uh, you just cast it and just hope that it will bring them low enough to where you can assassinate them. Also that call from Rhaegar. I have no idea what these guys are doing. Admittedly, I made some mistakes, but these guys are just suiciding all the time. Like Jaina deaths and now uh, this Kerrigan? I, I don't know what was the point of that. Okay, I should have killed the, the things there. The totem right away there, by the way. That was my bad. Somehow they just straight up tanked our fort and almost killed it. 
uh, with us defang it, defending it, so that was great. Uh, I guess Johanna is unkillable, right? So let's see what we can do here. Okay, yeah, also your hunger and arrow, by the way, got a little bit changed in Valor because now it does not auto aims. Like previously you can kind of mess with it and then it will, it will try to seek the target nearby and focus it. And uh, now you can't do that, you actually need to hit uh, the skill shot in order for hunter and arrow to trigger. Uh, but as in the, then that functionality kind of stayed the same, same goes for multi-shot, not, didn't really change much. Uh, but let's go ahead and grab arsenal. Uh, so I, I'm pretty sure that arsenal didn't used to reduce the cooldown of your multi-shot. Uh, well now it does, every time it hits, hits a hero, cooldown is reduced by 3 seconds. That's actually quite a bit of cooldown. By the way, really good job on uh, Joanna there, uh, taking time and aiming her blind there to, to make me almost useless in that fight. Um, okay, but you just saw how much damage we were actually able to do to uh, Oriel there. We should be able to kill her, yep. And the crits, the crits from our roll and uh, the more damage from our multi-shot and there we go, we finally overwhelmed them. We really needed that actually. That was really good job by our team. Good call by them because it was a four uh, versus three fight, and it worked. It really worked out in the end. It was really really great. So for this build, we're gonna go for strafe mm, because it's just. I think it's a little bit better than rain of like rain of vengeance is really good, especially now since you can actually split them. Like you now have two charges of rain of vengeance and you just can cast every stun separately, which is really awesome, really, really good. But Strafe uh, can kill people, no matter whether, yeah, the amount of uh, like AoE damage it can do is kind of crazy, so that's kind of my preferred choice for now. Oh no, the Tychus follow-up. If there wasn't Tychus there, we might have had a, a little bit better time there, but... Okay, I'm trying to just kind of kill them blind. Oh, this is awful. We don't have mana. If we had mana. So yeah, by the way, that's uh, our level 1 talent, Hot Pursuit. Actually regens mana at uh, at 10 stacks, so if we can get there... Oh my god, it's W. This W, look at that. Look at that burst damage that we were able to do with our multi-shot the moment it went up. So that was definitely, definitely... Oh yeah, I should help my allies there. So yeah, at 10 stacks, by the way, with Hot Pursuit, you start regenerating 4 mana per second. And it's also really, really helpful for Vala, because as you remember, Vala was always a very mana-hungry hero. And now you can get a level 1 talent that can prevent you going um mid-team fight after you just cast a couple of your abilities. So that's obviously helpful. Like, Blizzard really put in an effort uh, to make Vala a little bit more... Like, spell damage dependent, I guess. Uh, like, her abilities are now actually, like, castable, where previously you only wanted to cast them just to kill people. Like, if you are... If you are not actually bringing people to the point where they might die or they are dead, you are wasting mana. Uh, because they just would be healed up, and uh, now you are out of mana completely, and nothing you can do about it. Oh, good job by Kerrigan, by the way, waiting for that shield to wear off, because... To be honest, like... You see this too often, like you see too often where people would just waste stuns on uh, Joanna while her shield is up. So that was really refreshing uh, to see her actually do that. So we have uh, still 10 stacks there. Uh, so now, oh no, our vault, our vault actually did more bad than good there. But the cleanup is real and uh, everyone got wiped. And I said vault, it's actually strafe. Those abilities are, have like similar names for some reason. Whew, that was cool. That was better than I thought it would be since uh, we used our strafe to proc Kerasim's ultimate and then Aurel just used her used her crystal ages to save herself. I believe she misclicked. Uh, she was trying to save Kerasim, but because he wasn't there anymore uh, since he used his seven-sided strike, she used it on herself, potentially killing her teammates and things like that. Like she could definitely. She could have definitely saved them after, uh, like saved Karazim right after his seven-sided strike finished. But there was some um, counter synergy with the enemy team, so that would definitely helped us out quite a bit. Uh, at level 13, we're gonna go for Gloom. Uh, definitely a good choice. Like that passive 20% ability damage reduction is just so good, and then you can even activate it 
uh, to bring the total uh, ability reduction percentage uh, up to 50% if you have 10 stacks of hatred. All of the stacks of hatred will be consumed, but it's, it's worth it. Like, you take almost no damage when you activate it if you have 10 stacks. Uh, so that's obviously pretty damn cool. Uh, so I will use my Gloom right there to try to mitigate some of the Tychus' uh, bomb there. And that worked out, but we might might be dead here anyway. Okay, Illidan. People are... Okay, okay. Uh, Kerosene re did a really good job saving Tychus there, but we are just... We, are ju we just have so much momentum here. And yep, that was great. Ooh, that was tough actually. I really thought that I would die. Uh, but I kind of even did, I had no idea that we even had like Rhaegar. Like I didn't even think that he has his ultimate, but really good job by him like to support me uh, through that engage because I should have died there. Uh, like I overextended and I was sure that I would be dead. I just tried to get Tychus there and then I saw that uh, Kerosene was about to use his uh, palm and it was like man I just screwed up. But then Rhaegar with um, Ancestral Healing, oh that was so good, that was so good. Oh my god, we need more stacks, we actually need more stacks here. If I can get... Oh look at the damage though, look at the damage output. I'm trying to do as much damage as possible, but we do need to disengage here. Okay. Okay, things are working out, slowly but surely. Man, this team... At first I was like, I don't know what these guys are doing, but now they kind of regrouped, like they... Maybe they looked at their mistakes and said, you know what, I'm just gonna play a little bit better now. Um, because they made some questionable choices at the start. Also, I, like, this engage, like, I also made some questionable choices, but it, it's all cool. So level 16 is actually... A talent here that I'm not really sure about because first shot is cool, like that extra range and multi shot, and I believe it also affects Arsenal with the grenades. Um, really cool, and then slow for two seconds. It really, really helps uh, getting those skills. Uh, but at the same time, it um, going for something like uh, seizing hatred is also might be a good idea. Getting two stacks of hatred uh, every time uh, you attack rather than only one. Uh, it can definitely be very... Oh no, Johanna! I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have engaged her like that. I shouldn't... I was way too close to Johanna there. That was totally my bad. Nope, I should dis... Oh no, okay. So the tower is out of ammo, so we can just uh, continue shooting there. Tychus just used the Haka to just heal himself up. That was cool. Let's disengage. We are way too low on health. We don't have our strafe, but Kerrigan actually... Somehow they killed uh, Johanna. So I, I have no idea how that happened. Tychus should die? Well, he technically he did die, right? Okay, we are doing things. Good job, team. Man, I like these guys. Uh, let's slow him down and uh, just uh, kill them. Okay, we actually need to kill this uh, fort. Oh my god, look at the damage output. If if only there wasn't a blind there. Oh, that multi-shot damage. Like, look at how much it did. Like, you you don't think, really think about that. Uh, even, like, I often get uh, caught off guard by that when uh, playing uh, versus Vala too. That uh, she can just do so much damage with her, uh, with her multi-shot. No, I'm definitely not. Wait, what happened? Wait, what? What? <laughs> I guess I wasn't... <laughs> Wait, what? I seriously don't understand what happened there. <laughs> Why did it cancel? Maybe I got out of vision right when he was about to cast? But I thought such an ultimate was just instant. Like, he... I have no idea what happened. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Oh yeah, about seizing hatred by the way, it's kind of, like it sounds good and then you think about it like when you are able to stack uh, all of your stacks without like just if that's something you do, if you if you can uh, stack your hatred mid team fight, getting those two stacks feels kind of wasteful uh, because you don't really achieve much with it. Oh my god, that was too close, that was too close, we need some healing here. Okay, okay, people are dying. 
can we get some more kills there? Slow on Kerazim? Ah, uh, no, our hatred went off. Okay. We can actually engage this with the Frost Shot. Look at that. Oh, he just got out of range just a little bit. Oh no, that's slow. Oh, I should have probably used my Gloom there uh, to prevent the dive damage uh, because of the talent. I thought I was 16, right? Yeah, marked for death. I probably should have used my Gloom and potentially mitigated some damage, but that was definitely overextension on my part. That's kind of the game, I guess. So yeah, when you are able to stack Hatred mid-fight, Season Cater seems like a waste. Uh, so going for Frost Shot is probably a better choice. Like you can secure kills, you can chase people like that when we chase the Illidan. Obviously we died in the end, but that's not necessarily what you want, like what always happens. Uh, so that's definitely Leave my domain. an interesting talent here, I think. Uh, Rhaegar really, like, actually did a really good job this game. Uh, at first, like the very first engagement, I kind of thought that he would heal me with the Q. I thought, oh my god, this is this is gonna be awful. But then he just like completely snowballed us to victory. And look at this, legendary Rhaegar. Always, always good. Always good to see. Mm. But yes, this build is just so much better. Like, you saw the damage on multi-shot. You saw how we just killed people with it, like straight up killed, and the fact that Arsenal uh, allows you to cast multi-shot more often as in just every 12 seconds, it's just so good. It's such good synergy, look at this, we are top damage. We are top damage. So yeah, and I was kind of like playing versus Valas, and at times you would see a Vala who would just be like, she just does nothing, right? And then every other time you see them just dominating you for whatever reason. And every time it was this multi-shot build, because like nobody expects the damage. Like I, I don't expect the damage when I play Vala, and I kind of like I should be like I should know my damage numbers, but it's always it always end, ends ends up be like my multi-shot always ends up doing a lot more damage than I think it will. Maybe it's bugged. Maybe that's the thing. But I I I'm I really don't think it is uh, because. What it was, at level 7 we checked uh, the damage of uh, our multi-shot, it was 200, or was it level 4? Uh, so by level 20 it will be, what, like 500, or 400, 3, 400, uh, so with the ups upscale it by 50% it will be like 750, 100. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's definitely 750, no, 750, 750. Uh, yeah, so that's definitely cool uh, like this is awesome i thought that vala was abysmal like i i've said this before like in the beginning of the video i really tried to make her auto attack build work and after just straight up failing just over and over and over like i lost like 10 games in a row with that build uh so i thought that she was really awful after the rework but the punishment like the punishment the multi-shot build it's just so good it's just so good. So yeah, I mean, try it. Really try it. And at level 20 you go for the healing for Strafe. I believe it's called Vengeance. Uh, so it does a little bit more AoE damage. Every point 25 seconds. And it also heals you for 25% of all of the damage you do with your Strafe. Mid team fight, that's awesome. That's what, The other thing you should kind of be doing is uh, you want to stack your Hot Pursuit before you use Strafe. Because that extra 20% of movement speed really pays off while you're ulting. Like, you can position yourself a lot better. So that's that's definitely a good idea to do that. Uh, so yeah, if you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing. If there are some heroes or builds you want to see me playing next, make sure to let me know in the comments. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and see you next time.